to Muhammad's Boom Boom Room, where all of my guests either agree with me completely or they go boom. I am your host, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon me. And with me now is, excuse me, sir, who exactly are you? I'm the angel Gabriel, son. What? <laughs> You're not the angel Gabriel? I know the angel Gabriel. You're out here acting like you know me? No, I know the angel Gabriel. I already know the angel Gabriel, and you're not him. All right, so tell me, what does your angel Gabriel look like? Describe him for me. Hmm. hmm. I, let, let me think. He's red with creepy, evil-looking horns and a pointy tail, and he has some sort of a, a name badge on his chest, but I don't really know what it says because... As everyone knows, I can't read. <laughs> he likes to choke me a lot. He chokes me and gives me revelations, and he laughs at me whenever I believe anything that he says, which I always do. That's Satan, fool! What? That's not Satan! As I said very clearly in Ibn Ishaq, Satan looks like a black man. Who told you Satan looks like a black man? The angel Gabriel! You mean Satan? Are you deaf? Do you need a cochlear implant? I said the angel Gabriel! So, Satan, masquerading as me, told you that Satan looks like a black man, and now you don't believe that Satan is Satan because he's not black? Stop confusing me! See, now I know you're not the Angel Gabriel. The real Angel Gabriel never confuses me. He just tells me that it's okay to have sex with little girls and that it's okay to rape our female captives and that it's okay to take the wife of my own formerly adopted son and that it's okay to hire prostitutes. He basically tells me anything I want to hear. Sounds like Satan to me. Maybe you're Satan, because you're not saying anything I want to hear. You have the spiritual discernment of a cactus. Now you're being mean to me. And you're not giving me any revelations telling me that I get more sexy time girls. That proves that you're a fake angel. Okay, what if I could prove to you that the angel Gabriel of Islam is a fake angel? Try it. All right, here it goes. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, I appear to the Virgin Mary. Did you choke her and tell her to read like the angel Gabriel of Islam did to me? Yeah, not at all. I said, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. So I, the angel Gabriel, told Mary that her son Jesus would be the Son of the Most High, the Son of God. See? Now I know that you're not the real angel Gabriel, because the real angel Gabriel told me that the great God Allah has no son. What's I'm about to do to this fool? Alright, so, Muhammad, the Gospel of Luke, the Gospel that Christians read, says that the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and told her that her son would be the son of God. But you believe that the angel Gabriel appeared to you and told you that God has no son. You see the contradiction, right? Don't talk about contradictions. It makes you sound like Socrates. More pagan philosophy. But yes, I agree that it makes no sense for Gabriel to appear to Mary and call Jesus the Son of God and then appear to me and say that the great God Allah has no son. Excellent. So either the same angel Gabriel appeared to both you and Mary, but he lied when he was speaking to one of you, or, or, or there are two different angel Gabriels? And since it doesn't make sense for there to be two actual angel Gabriels, what can we conclude? That one of the angel Gabriels is just pretending to be the real Angel Gabriel? Right. 
Now the question is, which one? How do you spot the fake Angel Gabriel? Well, the fake Angel Gabriel is the one who doesn't tell me what I want to hear and doesn't give me more wives and more sex slaves. All right, hold that thought. Let's see if we can figure this out. The angel Gabriel of Luke 1 says that Jesus is the son of God, while the angel Gabriel of Islam says that God has no son, right? Peace be upon me. And what did the angel Gabriel of Islam reveal to you in Surah 5, verse 47 of the Quran? Why are you asking me what the Quran says? When as everyone knows, I can't read! Yeah, we all know that you're an illiterate caravan robber, but you're supposed to have this one memorized. Do you remember what Christians are supposed to judge by, according to the Quran? Alhamdulillah! I remember that verse. It says, let the people of the gospel judge by what the great God Allah has revealed therein. So according to the Quran, Christians are supposed to judge by the gospel? Peace be upon me. And according to the gospel that Christians read, the angel Gabriel called Jesus the son of God? Peace be upon me. So if the Quran commands Christians to judge by the gospel, and the gospel says that the angel Gabriel called Jesus the son of God, what should Christians conclude about the angel Gabriel of Islam who says that God has no son? That he's a satanic imposter? You're smarter than you look, Muhammad. So, who's the real angel Gabriel? Me or that satanic imposter who gave you the Quran? Wait, no. I didn't say he's a satanic imposter. I said Christians who judge by the gospel have to conclude that he's a satanic imposter. But the angel Gabriel of Islam commands Christians to judge by the gospel, right? Peace be upon me. So the angel Gabriel of Islam commands Christians to reject Islam. Why would he do that? Because he's a double agent? What? Infiltration sleeper mole? And speaking of moles... What? Look, you obviously don't understand anything about how revelations work in Islam! I understand that there's two possibilities here. Either the angel Gabriel who spoke to you was speaking the truth, or he was lying. And if the angel Gabriel who spoke to you was speaking the truth, then we would have to agree with him that Christians have the true gospel. And in that case, Jesus is the son of God and Islam is false. But if the angel Gabriel who spoke to you was lying, then Islam is still false because it came from a liar who was feeding you lies. Either way, Islam is false and the angel Gabriel of Islam is the false angel Gabriel. Wait a minute. If the angel Gabriel who appeared to me is a fake angel Gabriel, then what would that make me? A false prophet. What? Listen, if you want to criticize the angel Gabriel or even the great god Allah, I don't really care. Neither do my followers. But when you criticize me, someone has to die. Spoken like a true false prophet. Spoken like a true Allah!